All right, how's it going guys? Rush from 18 here and today we're going to be doing a very quick little patch note video for Skullgirls version 5.0 and I'm just going to get right into it. So of course the big highlight is that is that we're getting Umbrella into the game and she does a lot of stuff. You can pause to read this. Yes, but in summary, she starts out at satiated, overstuffed, Nav gives her extra damage, and then Ravenous gives her extra attacking speed. And then there's also all these moves that actually get affected in different ways by the different states. And you can feel free to pause to read any of these as well. And then her MA is actually a fairly standard, like, offense versus defense MA that we've been seeing on the past few new characters. The conditions on them are actually pretty solid, though. You know, sweet victory. He gains enrage on defeating an enemy. Bitter end gives you final stand and heavy regen. And when falling below 25% HP. And then PA is pretty reasonable. You just get the PA passively. He for gaining or losing hunger, and you pretty much constantly lose hunger if you're not actually staying in Rav- if your plan isn't to stay in Ravenous forever. And then you get- you get healing, and you- and you also inflict slime. Which is the new debuff and I'll be going into next. And you get all of that stuff on counter hit. Yeah, which is pretty good. Good and easy to do. And then of course there's also the daily and stuff. But yeah, slime. Slime, it seems like at least a mid to high mid tier debuff to me. Because the damage can be really good. 4% that scales really well in any mode is pretty solid fixed damage to have. But it only works against opponents that rely on gaining buffs or that have support from the likes of a Killjoy or a Surgeon General or a Last Hope, etc. Or a model leader on their team. Pretty much if they have support or if they have... An essay that gives them buffs. This will actually be fine. And then we have a new catalyst. This new catalyst seems interesting as well. One stack of miasma every three seconds. Removes when you're knocked down. And then when you reach five stacks. You get perma slimed. And then daily mission overhaul is actually really good. Good. We just get a consistent 50 Theonite per day now, which is actually infinitely more consistent than, than the random garbage we had before. And these missions are actually really easy. Like, really easy. So logging in... So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 missions for you to do every day. There's 12 missions for you, and it's all one, mi you all just have to do it like one a day. So like log in, that's just once. Open one relic, open cabinet once, send one gift, level up one move, unlock one skill tree node, Deploy one character, win one story mode match, win one daily match, win one prize fight match, complete one versus match, maybe less people will rage quit from this one, and alone, or they'll just actually refuse to do it. And then complete a rift.
And then they've also added a bunch of other stuff, like adding in the Umbrella stuff at a premium price, as well as Vector Protector and Vintage Virtuos will be changed and or added. Mm -hmm. Treasures has added the Umbrella Catalyst, and then the Umbrella stuff is available at a premium price, just like all the other character launches. And then in Tributes, all the Umbrella stuff is available at a premium, and then Vector Protector and Blitz and Glamour have just been added in at a premium as well. Well, Vector Protector, Blitz and Glamour, Dream Demon have been added to all standard relics. Curse Experiments fights will no longer drop silver moves, thank goodness for that. And then other than these bug fixes, we have... We now have... No, but yeah, you can read these bug fixes if you like by pausing. I'm not going to go through them. Because they're not super impactful or important. And then, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's going to be a patch notes. So yeah, overall, uh, this is actually a pretty solid update for PvE side of the game. Uh, comp is getting a new character, so that it is getting shaken up, even if none of the previous top tiers are actually getting directly nerfed in this update. And maybe Versus will actually be a less rage quit heavy environment as well. So yeah, that will be all. Thank you all very much for watching. And in the next video, I will be playing around with Umbrella, probably.